Once you've opened up your Silhouette Studio um, software, you want to go to Page Setup and click the registration mark icon and turn those registration marks on. You'll see those little hash marks there. This allows for the Silhouette Cameo to communicate with the printer. I'm opening up a file that I already created in Microsoft Word. Um, I saved it, it called stickers. I was just gonna show you how to create stickers. I wanted a few stickers of my Bitemoji for the month of August. I didn't fill up an entire sheet, so I just filled the rest of the page with a few Winnie the Pooh images for my daughter. She likes Winnie the Pooh. I'm gonna go ahead and rotate this so it fills a regular size letter page, an eight and a half by 11. You wanna make sure that your images stay within the registration marks and right now I don't see those on so let me go back okay there you are all right and so now I'm just gonna make sure that my images do not exceed the registration mark so you have a mark in the corner down at the bottom and you just want to keep everything within those parameters nothing outside of those parameters so here are a few of my images and I want to have a little outline around them and have the silhouette cut the outline not cut the image closely but to cut an outline around it. So I'm going over to this butterfly looking image that is the trace tool. I'm gonna to click trace and I'm gonna select just the first half of my page. And I wanna get all the images selected and you wanna see that yellow because what we're gonna do is we're gonna trace the outline. That way we can create an offset. So I'm just making sure I have everything highlighted. And you just wanna pull your edges until you get everything covered. So now I'm going to the threshold and I wanna see as much yellow as possible. So I'm just gonna be sliding this up a little bit to um, each of the images are almost full of yellow. And that just allows the machine to know what I want traced and that's too much so I'm gonna go back down okay once you have enough yellow selected you're gonna go down to the different trace options I'm just gonna back off which you have trace and trace out outer edge and you have trace and detach I'm gonna trace the outer edge so we're gonna click this one And you can't really see it, but there's a red outline around each of the images. I'm just gonna shift it over, there you go. And if I sent it to the Cameo this way, it would cut exactly around the edge, but I wanna leave a little bit of white space. I'm gonna be using white sticker paper. So I'm gonna do offset, which is the star symbol here, and it will create a little offset. I'm gonna change it to zero point five zero and hit apply and give it a moment I apologize my computer's moving a little bit strange I think I don't have it completely highlighted let's go back over everything kind of looks the same so I'm just gonna click and make sure that this is selected so it is now selected because I was able to move it and I'm gonna try the offset again. Once again, it is the star icon. So offset, click. Okay, now you see it created this bubble around it. I don't want it that big, so that's why I'm gonna reduce the size. So right now the default setting is 1.25 and they're all together. It would cut around all, all of that, which I just want a very small border, so I'm gonna reduce the size of that trace. And it's 
thundering and raining today. So that is way too big. You see a lot of them would be connected together if I left it this way. And if you don't have a die cutting machine, you can always print your images on sticker paper and cut them by hand if you choose. So you can fill up your sheet of paper with whatever bit emojis you'd like, print them and then cut them by hand if you choose. But I just want to show you that this can be done with your Silhouette Cameo. So now I'm gonna reduce the sizing to 0 0.05 instead of the 1.25. And you should see that outline shrink once I apply these changes. Perfect. So that's a much better outline. That's much better. Um, falls in line with what a sticker would generally look like. And so it's going to cut that outside edge and I'll have a little white border, which is exactly what I wanted. You're going to you have two outlines. You have the first trace line and then you have the offset. We need to delete the first trace line. So I'm shifting that over and I'm just going to hit delete once I know it's selected. So I've selected and I've deleted it and that leaves me with just the offset. So I'm going to move my image back in and I'll still have that border. If you would have left the trace lines, then it would have cut the trace line and the offset, which would have not been very productive of wanting that border. I have a little goof up here where my images aren't totally aligned. I'm going to go back. I don't know how that happened, but I'll fix that. I'll just hit undo and retrace, but I'm going to see. The bottom is lining up, but those over there are not. So I hit undo, retraced, and I have everything like I like it. I'm going to move over to the second half of my paper. Once again, I didn't think of a lot of bit emojis to add, so I just filled up the paper so it wouldn't be wasted. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go ahead and go to the trace menu, trace the area. And I want to make sure that I select everything so I can kind of see the bit emoji shoes not covered at the bottom here. I'm just going to pull this down some. And I'm going to move the threshold up so we get as much yellow as possible without it being fuzzy. And I think that's pretty good. That's even better, that's perfect. It didn't get blurry, everything's sharp. So now I'll go down to the bottom and do trace outer edge. And I'll shift this over just a little bit so you can see that the image has been traced. Let's select it. Actually, I'll do the offset. So I'm going to the offset and I'll do the same exact thing on um, reducing the sizing, but I do need to make sure that it is selected. So the image does not look like it's selected because it didn't create that big default bubble around it of the 1.25. So I'm going to click again until I get the, the border around my image that lets me know that it's been selected. Sorry, I don't know why this image is a little hard to grab. All right, click. And it traced it. So it is traced. So now I just need to click the actual image and not the trace. Okay, now it's selected. You see the line on the outside? So now I have my image and I'm going to hit offset. There we go. And now we have the large default, which is not what I want. I want it to be a very thin border. And you can experiment with the sizing that you choose on your offset. But I think that one works good. It's a very good outline. I have the Silhouette Cameo 3. So it has an auto blade, the auto setting. So it will um, set the pressure and the speed that it's going to cut. 
Right now, I'm just going to get the trace line again, just like before, because you have two traces there. You have an offset, and then you have a trace line. We want to get rid of the trace line. So I'm just going to move it. So that's the inside line. That's the trace line. We don't want the inside line. We just need the outside. Perfect. And then I'll line it up again. And it will just cut exactly where the red outline is. But your first step will be to send this to the printer. So from Silhouette Cameo at the very top, in your right hand corner, there's sending it to the Cameo, but I'm just gonna go over to File, and I'm gonna go to Print. So our first step is to print it, and then you'll select whatever printer you have. I have many printers on this computer. And then once you print it, you'll load it up like usual on your Silhouette Cameo mat. And I'm selecting the material here, which will be the sticker paper. But I'm trying to change the material. So go up to the top. And look for sticker paper. I chose white sticker paper, which is what I'm using. And I'll put in the description box a link. And once again, it will automatically sync the blade to the proper settings of cutting sticker paper. So everything's ready. I just need to plug up uh, my cameo. It's sinking. And it'll let me know when it's ready. And it's ready. And I'm just going to hit send. And it's ready. So and it's just going to ask me if the image needs to be mirrored. It doesn't. So I'm going to hit send as is. And my mat's loaded. The silhouette cameo is cutting. And once again, it will only cut around the outline. Right now the blade is adjusting itself. And now it's beginning to cut. But you see those registration marks allows the cameo to know where to cut, where to start cutting. So once again, you design it, create your offset, print it, then load your medium to your Silhouette Cameo, and then you'll have stickers, your very own stickers. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I will do another one where I design it in uh, Silhouette Cameo instead of Microsoft Word, so you can kind of watch the process of designing but once again it's very easy it's just bringing the image in and then the same thing creating the offset but hopefully my um, explanation will be a little bit better a little less hiccups going on so all done and unload my medium You can see I have some social media icons and some flare markers. I'm gonna, forgive my mat has glitter on it. All right, I'm just gonna try to peel back the paper a little bit so you can see that it is a great little sticker to put in your planners or notes, whatever you use stickers for. You can use them as labels if you like for your kids, but um, these will be for my planner. So I have my coffee, my Dunkin' Cup. That's my actual Dunkin' Cup with my bit emoji. And here is my planner with my bit emoji right there. And of course, I will make a few more once I figure out what I really want my emoji doing. But really easy, really simple. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have um, content that you'd like me to cover, feel free to comment or um, let me know via social media. Thanks for watching. Bye.